Alrighty gamers, we are back once again with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Joined with Gil Riot. Go ahead and say hey. Hello everybody. I'm back. And uh, a lot of new Peppy Gal Easy A's. You know, Pan, unfortunately, not on the team because she's not in the category. Same with the Universe 11 trick. But we do have the, what, three or new Easy four. A's? So we have the Fizz four. Bulma. Four. Uh, four. And then the Kawe, I believe. So we're just going to do a run of the LGE. We don't want to do an individual showcase. Mainly is how the team just works as a peppy gal team so 18 already pretty much at 100k defense before gathering any orbs so uh uh igman's here he's just recording the gameplay uh he's just being a good little b-roll lad but uh yeah to float off videl because videl doesn't really matter we don't need her to steal the show yeah i tip probably put her on the third slot yep perfect uh yeah, yeah. good enough okay that 100k and, 100k uh, after getting the orbs let's see what her uh what her defense stat is yeah 170 right, yeah. k that's good that's very that's, good it's pretty good for a unit you probably have rainbowed yeah i mean considering all things said and done you should have a lot of these units rainbowed especially if you've been playing since the second year anniversary because i remember when <laughs> oh 2.5 it's not bad not bad at all and remember <laughs> especially once that other top 18 gets her easy and you run her as say a floater on the team you could easily get like up on the large amount of orbs with her and we only got like five orbs there so yeah with an orb changer she'll be fantastic the one thing i will say though yeah. you should, like choco said you should have these guys fully you know ready to go and everything because of how many times they've come back featured or been on banners right so yeah definitely agree now this is the big issue here with uh, Videl being on the team, uh, or there being two Videls on this team. Um, the Invidel unfortunately will not. One hundred fifty and one hundred fifty. Uh, can what? you uh, can you pull it back up again? Hundred. Yeah, one hundred twenty-four, one hundred sixteen. Not bad. No, not bad at all. Uh, no, I think I think it'll be higher if you uh, click it again because it the Doka needed some time to actually update the links. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 150 and 150. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, no, these guys have some really good defense. I must admit. Now, especially with uh, Mai also raises her defense on super, so it's going to be very interesting to see uh, how much he can tank on a later stage, for example, potentially. 1.4. Yeah. 1.4. The... I mean, it's not bad because she will recover HP as well. So in theory, she's still getting you your health back, which is really good, and she lowers attack and defense. So definitely, and she does raise her attack. Yes, that too. Yes, that also, is true. Eighty percent of defense and performing a super attack, bro. She was at like three hundred k. Yeah, no, she's gonna be really good uh, in that regards. Yeah, this batch of Peppy Gals easy a was huge because mm -hmm. the team wasn't anything close to bottom tier before, but it wasn't on the level of like Rupsy Number Seven or anything. I still don't think it is, but you're probably going to have these units rainbowed and you're probably not going to have MUI Goku rainbowed. So yep. I'm just saying, uh, let, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I think she's going to die anyways, but keep bomb on rotation. Cause she needs to be hit what five times and dodge five times. Yes. Um, so she also, her around. she also gets 50% attack and defense on super as well. So she will get some more defense there. Um, and she of course restores HP with every rainbow orb she gets as well as on super as well. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that oh, yeah, tech raises her so attack good. and defense by thirty percent for six turns, so she can get three stacks. Mm -hmm. Yep, one point six from Bulma. That's a hundred percent attack and defense, basically. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, no, she's really good. That tech Android eighteen like is very good. Again, with the right orb changer as well, she can probably get some insane attack stats and defense up as well over time. I All mean, right. she's already pretty insane. 250,000 defense mm -hmm. and raising it even more. She's going to be at, like, what, 280k or something? Give or take, yeah. Like, dude, she's, she's already insane. Yeah. Well, that's, higher than, <laughs> that's higher than Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI Goku. Mm -hmm. Agreed. For sure, for sure. All right, I want to see how much my takes saying, here. I, I, I want to see how much my takes here. Because... Uh, that's my biggest concern is like she obviously raises attack really nothing. raises defense but yeah that that was nothing yeah absolute peanuts is what she took there very good stuff from her she, she's at 150,000 and raised by 50 she's at like 225k or something mm -hmm. I agree I think Sora Sor explained it to me that I was wrong but Sora explained it really bad because Sora is Sora so yeah. I don't really know just roll with it oh yeah. perfect all can start getting stuff so what is she at 89k mm -hmm. okay yeah well the thing is Three. my only issue with 
my I think the weakest one here is definitely I feel Videl, unfortunately. Obviously because of not only because of that, but we have to remember her attack set, the 1.6 million, 1.5 million we're seeing is also with the support. We have to remember AGL my is a support, right? 30% attack and defense to all Peppy Gal's allies. So that's my only like concern is she's definitely seemingly the weakest in this bunch of new units, but Overall, still, I mean, all, all of them are going to be really useful. I mean, 1.8 from Bulma, obviously, she was uh, raising her attack and defense there by dodging, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, I think definitely the weakest one in the bunch is definitely going to be Videla, uh, unfortunately. But I do believe, I don't know, who do you like so far, Troka? I'm personally leaning towards 18 the most here. Yeah, same, Tech 18. <laughs> like, it's crazy what, how good she is. I mean, AJ Mai is going to be... Oh, oh. Yeah. I think AGL Mai is going to be phenomenal as well, especially if you pull her up with Kale and Khalifa. But I think Tech 18 as a solo unit is... They've done a great job with her, man. That's a fantastic unit uh, they've designed there. Does she have a built-in chance to dodge? Or is that just 5 dodge? Uh, Videl? No, built-in. I think it's built-in. Pretty sure it's built-in. Mm, no. Just, uh, just natural dodge. Okay. Yeah, that's built-in. That's cool. Or when I say built-in, it's not a uh, hidden potential. Oh, I think you meant like built-in passive. No, 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 no. It's not passive-wise. I would have said passive if it was. No, no, no. I meant hidden, mm. hidden potential. Five dodge. Yeah. I mean, we haven't Kauai spoken about Kawe. Yeah, we ha yeah, we haven't spoken a lot about Kawe as well. Kawe is a very uh, surprising unit, of course, we got. I didn't know who she was before, like, when we found out about her. But she's actually not that bad. 140% attack and defense off rip, or uh, just a start of turn. She can greatly lower attack and defense as well. Has an additional 40% chance to, uh, or has a 40% attack and defense buff when she performs a super attack. High chance of stunning the attacked enemy. Medium chance of an additional two key, and then a medium chance of launching an additional super attack. A medium chance of evading super uh, enemies attacks. Very. A lot of things going on with her, and she can obviously have type effectiveness if uh, the en enemy is in attack down status, or if the op opponent is sealed, and she can uh, or sealed, sorry, and she can perform critical hits on stun enemies. So, Kawhi is a very interesting unit. How do you feel about her from the little we've seen so far? We've not been paying too much attention to her, but she's been very. She's a very interesting unit, right? Yeah, she's made in a way too that you don't actually need her on Peppy Hill's team, which is really useful. And greatly lowering attack and defense is really useful for something like Super Battle uh, yeah, with a medium chance of an addi uh, mm -hmm. additional key team, medium chance, launching, uh, launching an additional super and evading and yeah. attacks effectively at some type if they have an attack down. So you double super and, you know, she's just epic gamering on them. She's yeah. a really strong unit. Yeah, not only that, she obviously has that high chance of stunning the attacked enemy, albeit it'll be only for a turn, it's still a turn of, like, free real estate, effectively. And not only that, if you put her on, say, the Universal Survival Saga Universe Survival Saga team of Peppy Gals, you've got Ribrian, Kill and Khalifla, Rosie, Kakunza, there's so many of that options that will have the, and share similar links to her with Tournament of Power and stuff like that, Shattering the Limit. Um, the one thing I will say about her as well oh, is that... I keep Bulma in first slot. Yeah, put her in first slot, yeah. Um, well... No, it's all good, it's all good. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, the one thing I will say about Kawe as well is that she'll actually go really well with the Inribrian purely because Inribrian seals, right? So her plus the Ribrian will be fantastic because it'll also take advantage of her uh, chance to, or her ability to be type effective when the opponent is sealed, right? So... Yeah, I think this is a great addition to the team. Um, very interesting, to say the least. But, I mean, it's a, it's a good option, I'd say. It's a very good option. She has good stats, it seems like, as well. So, overall, very interested to see how she will perform with her fellow teammates in the tournament of Power Link. Because she's getting 1.7, 1.8, if I was not mistaken there. So, that's not really all that bad. But, yeah. And I just, I can't wait for the next batch of mm -hmm. Esther, Chi Chi, and hopefully Int Rebrand, because, yes. oh my god, Int Rebrand is here. Yeah, no, it'll be really good. I assume the next batch will also feature potentially Oceanus and uh, Physical Launch as well, which will be really good oh. to see. Because <sighs> yeah, Tech Bulla as well. Have Tech Bulla as well. We can't forget about her, because she'll be really good with her support passive being 40% attack and allies key 3 or something, right? That'll probably get buffed up to maybe like 3 key for a 50% attack, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, I don't think they'll do launch in Oceanus next. I think that'll be like the third batch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there still pretty recent-ish yeah. Dokkan Awakenings? 
Mm-hmm. Not super easy, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so far I'm leaning. I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of how they've done Videl this time around. Maybe maybe it's just being me being a bit too harsh, considering well, of course you know we have another Videl right now as well. Um, but it just seems like she's probably the least impressive out of the bunch we have right now, right? I don't I don't know. Um, I'd probably go like 18 Bulma, Mai Kawei, and then put Videl at the bottom. I think that's what I would say. How about you, Turco? Uh, probably, yeah, out of this team, yeah, because we still haven't actually seen what Pan and, uh, Universe 11 girl can do. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. which at the end of this video, we'll still include and throw in just because we're not doing a separate video for Pan. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that's, uh, pretty much this team done. I mean, speaking of this team, I mean, we've pretty much covered all the bases for this. Let's look at this Dokkan attack from, uh, Boma as well. Uh, yeah, no, this 18 is really good, man. I was a bit concerned about the key stuff and everything, but I think that if you put her on a Peppy Gals team, especially with that, uh, with the passive she has, I think she would still be really solid. Like she gets a bunch together when you combine the two together. Like she's a nuker, but mm. we didn't even really properly nuke, and she was at two hundred fifty thousand defense with yeah. still raising it that super attack. Definitely, definitely agree with you on that one. But yeah, I think should we move on to the next uh, batch? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, we've showed what these Peppy Gals can do. Obviously, we're not going to, you know, we didn't get their best possible rotation, entire field of new, uh, like, orbs with the uh, 18 and whatnot, but you guys get a pretty good feel. Uh, these units are ridiculously busted, and any continent in the game, you will probably not start clearing. Unless it's like the God event, but it's the God event. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, probably Pan first on GT Heroes. Alrighty, so here we are, four. STR Pan. Now, unfortunately, she lost her defensive part of her passive, but we are 10 turns into the fight deep. We have B Pan with her, as well as uh, the support unit for the uh, Trunks and Goten. She, I believe, has two stacks active currently of her super attack. So, she, one more attack, she'll be getting 30% attack and defense. Uh, let's go ahead and use B Pan's active skill. Yep. And uh, Gail, what do you think about S your pen? No, she's really good because even though she lose that defense, we still saw she had 250,000 defense, which is still really good, right? Um, but she also, as she loses her defense, she also gains evasion because I think at the start of every turn, she gets 15% uh, evasion up to 60%. So when you do lose that 120% defense, uh, you still do get a bunch of evasion as a result of it. So I think in... in retrospective and in hindsight it's not really the worst thing to lose the defense for evasion if the only issue is that when you're in events such as the lge event or well primarily the lge event because that's the only stage i think outside of idbh i guess that disables your dodge at the final stage right so i think she's still great um she'll work really well on gt heroes uh dragon ball seekers as well especially with gt trio as the leader giru on the team and stuff like that right so I think overall she's still a great unit on the team she's going to be on. Yeah, uh, and what's great too is she can work off of Peppy Gals, so she's going to be a big buff to GT heroes. Because, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Physical Pan is a decent support unit, but she's completely outclassed by even free-to-play units nowadays. So, yep. yeah, you're throwing her on this team, B-Pen rotation, you can't kill it. She's doing pretty decent damage. What was, what was actually the actual attack that I didn't... I think it was 2.6 million. I think 2.6 million was what I saw last. But yeah, it's pretty good. Of course, that is with B-Pan, but it's still mm -hmm. fine, because you're not dying in your healing, so yeah. Definitely a really solid option. Alrighty, and here we are for Margarita. Now, she is a support unit similar to Vados, where she's buffing Universe 7, or sorry, Universe 11, Realm of Gods, Bond, uh, Master and Disciple, and Siblings Bond, which with Jita is three of them. So yeah. for this 150k defense, pretty solid. Uh, so she's a decent unit, but again, Probably going to be primarily a support unit like Vado. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, have her do an attack. And yeah. then we can see the buff of Vegeta with God Topo as well. It's probably going to be pretty high. Yeah. The one thing also about her as well is that she also has a medium chance of evading enemies attack. And can increase her attacking defense by 11% each time she attacks up to 44. And she's a rainbow key sphere changer if there is a universe 11 category ally attacking in the same turn. So we will see her. We have brought in a oh, force. Same turn. Yes, I mean, oh, we have got a destruction uh, topo here, we have Jiren as well, so it's not the worst decision, and you know, to yeah. have that, but it's only going to be on very certain teams where they are capable of running together, right? So, 
at the same time, I completely agree. Like, it can be kind of iffy. So, we, yeah, the main aim is we're going to see her with potentially Margarita and Vados together with SSBE. And then we'll probably bring in a rotation with maybe Jiren and her together, potentially. So, ye. Probably, yeah. yeah. Her, Vados, and Jiren. Alrighty. So, second of the probably three rotations we're doing with her next will just be Jiren, Vados, and uh, Margarita. But let's link the two together and see as a combo. How do they do? Unfortunately, there is a secret share delay, so thank you, Discord. But, uh, yeah, what's the other defense? Because it is 140p, 290,000. That's, that's pretty good. And then uh, 180k with Vado. So let's go ahead and see her attack set. But, uh, yeah, this is a rotation for Roma Gods. And an orb changer key for uh, Rainbow for Roma yeah. Gods. So blue boys. Well, no, it's, only, it's not Realm of changer. Gods per se, it's Universe 11 attacking in the same terms. What I mean is she's on the team, and yeah. so is Topo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, so if you're planning on running really? Fury, yeah, if you run through Universe 11 units, it'll be good. The only problem is in the same turn. That's the yeah. only uh, That's the cat downside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, she's still going to be really good. I think she's, uh, she's basically a slightly better Vados, effectively, but... I mean, to be fair, Universe 11 also kind of needs it anyways due to their lack of units. Um, I think we checked right before this uh, and it was only like 8 units in the team. Hence why we're running a bit of a Realm of Gods thing as well as uh, to, you know, showcase a bit of Beerus and Vegeta as well to see how they would work with, uh, um, you know, Varos and Margarita both giving the support abilities. Of course, Beerus also does kind of rely on Beerus as well, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's still kind of good that he's getting a new additional partner as well considering how badly he links with everybody else all right and for the final rotation of the video i'm pretty sure this is all the new peppy gal-esque units coming to dokkan so with uh jiren topo and margarita to go ahead and close this out so all these units have been pretty uh pretty good and all decent buffs for their team how are you feeling about them gail Rad? no it's really good i think this is great for universe 11 especially but it also helps, you know, just generally with other teams like Realm of Gods and stuff like that. Um, overall, very excited to see how Margarita will perform generally as well at 55% and, you know, other dupes, uh, dupe levels. Um, no, very good unit. I'm very, very excited about all of these units all together. And yeah, no no complaints from me. I mean, I guess <laughs> I, I, I saw that. That is a lot of, that's a lot of power to you. Um, yeah, my only issue, I think, if I have any particular unit if we've seen in this video is probably Videl. But even then, I can't really complain too much about it purely because, I mean, the only reason why she's, like, so iffy is, like, she has a better unit already in the s right? So, yeah. 2.8 on Topo? Yeah, no, that's really good. Oh, my God. That's a lot of power. Yeah, all these units there are great. Yeah, I think we, we all agree that Videl is probably the weakest link. Uh, mm -hmm. Favorite unit, though? Uh, I'd still probably say Tech Android 18. I'm not going to front. Hmm. It's either Tech Android 18 or SJ Pan. Do you want to chime in? None of them. Maja Vegeta better. All right, fair enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's <laughs> go ahead and wrap up the Peppy Gal showcase. You know, uh, thank you, Gail Rat, for being here. Code Dokkan Boyo. And of course, Ignant for uh, running the, the Dokkan account thing. So we can go ahead and showcase all these pretty cool units. Yeah. Any final words, gamers? Really, no. End, oh. Ending it on the Vegeta one screen, easy. All right. Pog, all right. Stay gaming, gamers. <laughs>